hello everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel please subscribe and if you're returning subscriber thank you and god bless you how are you all doing today so my correct correct people we do already come again with another obongi information from the palace of ife so as we heard allegedly you know, so we say me will carry come uh as um, on the internet space we've heard that um the clergymen uh, and the uh, women association of nigeria they've sat for a meeting and have decided what to do with queen naomi's case uh, i don't know if you remember there was an alleged information that popped up on the internet space concerning queen naomi being queried but not from the main typical heads uh we had allegedly that some of them they just you know group themselves to make this meeting on queen naomi's head and they now brought it to the table uh, for people to put mouth into it so they wanted uh, um, the the their members yeah uh, and some of the and the executives to put mouth into it so now we had allegedly that the meeting they seated for the meeting and they sat for the meeting and um uh according to the the uh, this thing the results of the meeting we were we heard that the the people that came out to say those things about queen naomi was churned properly they were even given a uh, distinct punishment because of what they've done so <clears throat> according to them their rules remain that you won't be manipulated to fight against your own brother because in that group in that their society they believe that they are one and as in their siblings there so you don't you know collect bribe or be being manipulated or something you don't let yourself lose to be loose in a way that they will use you to as in they will manipulate you into fighting your own sister or into fighting your own brother so i think in this particular case of queen naomi with these clergy people the case i saw there was the case of being manipulated to fight queen naomi because these people have been teaming up since to help queen naomi fight this battle to help queen naomi you know rearrange her home to make queen naomi get what she hasn't possess her positions all of a sudden this group of people amongst the same group they just you know brought themselves out and they decided that queen naomi is going to be their topic and they started discussing her to the extent that they brought it to the general public general table you know for them to put mouth into it and thank goodness for the kind of leadership yeah they have in that group we had allegedly that they were given punishment and they were churned properly that they shouldn't even for one day do something like that again or say something like that towards queen naomi shilekola so according to the head and uh, some of the executives a majority of the floor members they were like a good woman a virtuous woman a christian woman you know possesses her position she she meant she amends her way she meant what what is as in what was broken or something like now that queen naomi's home we know that oh then that queen naomi left and kabiesi go married to these six wives that family was broken it was broken it was shattered into pieces yes now queen naomi is trying to fix the pieces together and bring it together and these people are saying that oh she doesn't uh, that she doesn't want what the prophetess any longer that why will she be going back to a man that has married six wives and uh, this 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 in fact uh, i don't even see it as a proper team to start up a meeting i just saw it as a gossip because this is just a gossip why would they just sit down and you know discuss something like that and still bring it out for people able to join them and crucify queen naomi thank goodness for the kind of god that queen naomi serves and thank goodness for the kind of leadership all right because if not if the heads we are amongst these people that are just you know doing this gossip up and down huh, nobody nobody go no waiting for the already happen and thank goodness the majority of them are supporting Olomi Naomi. We heard that the people that they you know did this uh, uh, uh this thing this their um fake meeting that they don't even reach six in number and people that supported them didn't even reach half of them also. So they we are not much majority supported Queen Naomi. Majority was like they are going to stand by Queen Naomi to make sure she fight this battle and wins because that home is hers, but the devil 
planted people that would destroy the palace for Queen Naomi and Kabiesi. And what do you what what, I, what do you expect? You want Queen Naomi to fold her hands and be like, oh no, I don't want to go and then uh uh no no, it's not proper. It's not proper knowing fully well that one of her assignments, her primary assignment self, is in that palace. She has a lot to do in the palace of Ife. You see Queen Naomi like this, she has a lot to do in the palace of Ife. So you don't expect her to just, you know, uh, be like, oh, no, no, ah, uh, uh, no, no. Nah. These people having this meeting on her head, they were manipulated. They were, man they were manipulated severe, yeah, eh, in a very huge way that they don't even know they are left again from their right. They don't even know where they are standing and every other thing. But you see this battle, Queen Naomi is not on it alone. Yes, with the online and offline in-laws, uh, uncles and aunties, we are right there behind her. And uh, the battle, battle of everybody, uh, God himself, God is there. God is the owner of the case self before Queen Naomi they follow. So let them continue doing meeting upon doing meeting upon doing meeting. The only way they can do and don't do. I know that this might be their handwork because the only thing they wanted is to make sure that the clergymen and the women association of Nigeria that they ban Queen Naomi or they give Queen Naomi serious punishment so that them they are now going to be happy. But guess what is not going to work out for them? They've tried before and failed woefully. They they don't try again. They will still fail a, a yakata for ground. Initially, they've been to tell people that oh, Queen Naomi is a fake prophetess. Oh, Queen Naomi this. Oh, Queen Naomi that. Oh, Queen Naomi is not worth it. Oh, Queen Naomi this. Oh, Queen. Right now, they are now like oh, Queen Naomi is going back to a polygamous man. Why will Queen Naomi go back to a man that or that once that once married uh, uh, six wives and ah. Uh, uh, People were, eh? people were, eh? is it that they don't have anything to do? Is it that they don't have hand work? Let them get something doing, like seriously, instead of, you know, sitting down to gossip about our dearest Olomi Naomi and saying things like, oh, she shouldn't go back to KBSC, why would she go back to KBSC and so on and so forth. Hmm. Why well, allow my correct, correct people? Anyway, they keep saying, Queen Naomi keeps winning. Yeah, they keep doing all they do, but Queen Naomi wins every day. On a daily basis, Queen Naomi wins, yeah, and she will continue to the win. She will continue to the win, and her win will be massive. So, my correct, correct people, uh, hmm, remember that all these are alleged informations, uh, information, and please, uh, you know, uh, we gather them on the internet space. I'm not living in the palace of Ife, so anything you see on the social media, believe at your own risk, yeah. So, we gather this information on the internet. <laughs> And decide to bring it to you so do well to like share and subscribe and equally give this video a massive thumbs up it goes a long way i'll see you soon in my next upload bye bye thank you and god bless you